the Orchard House in Concord, Massachusetts, is where the Alcott family found home. It's also where Louisa May Alcott would write her landmark novel, Little Women, whose characters she based on her own family. With the new Little Women film opening this Christmas, we take a look at the house that inspired the story. It looks like a lot of thought happened in this room. It just feels like thought here. You're very perceptive. Bronson Olcott always had a place everywhere they ever lived where he could think, write, read. Intellect was power. That's how Louisa and her sisters Anna, Elizabeth, and May were raised. They were young adults when the family moved to Concord, purchasing this home, situated on 12 acres and an apple orchard, for $950 in 1857. What's the correct pronunciation of this family's last name? Olcott. Not Alcott, as Not I think Alcott. so many. <laughs> <laughs> Jan Turnquist is executive director of Louisa May Alcott's Orchard House, although she first came here as a guide when she was in her 20s. She's steeped in the family's history and their everyday life, how the young Alcott women were encouraged to live freely and dance regularly. They had a lot of company. Every Monday night, they were. At home, they would put a curtain up across here, and the family would put on plays, especially Louisa and her sisters. They would play games. Mrs. Alcott loved to play chess, and we have the original board. Mid 1800s Concord was a who's who of thought leaders, all friends of the Alcotts: Emerson, Thoreau, and next door neighbor Nathaniel Hawthorne, who didn't always share their ideals. The Alcotts were very progressive, liberal, uh, abolitionist, and. Um, just maybe suffice it to say that Nathaniel Hawthorne very different politically. Already a published author in 1868, Louisa was asked by her publisher to write a girl's story, much to her dismay. As she put it, she never knew many girls. She played with boys. She played with her sisters. But needing money, she wrote Little Women with stories inspired from her own childhood. She used this home as the setting. It remains largely as it was when Louisa lived here. When people walk through and see items that it's so clear they had to have touched and used, like the sewing materials, like the needlework that they did, the paintings and drawings, I think those speak most closely to that sense of they're here. Now, this I assume is just the heart of the pilgrimage right here. This is where Little Women was written. Yes, Louisa was so. Fortunate to have this desk. It doesn't look like much, but you have to remember that in that time, women were not supposed to be serious writers. Here in her bedroom, surrounded by art made by her sister May, Louisa wrote Little Women in three months on the desk her father built. It wasn't only her father; her mother was extremely supportive too, and they were saying, "You can do this." One room over is her sister May's bedroom. It's decorated as is much of the house with her own artwork. May was an accomplished painter whose work sold well in Europe. She was especially adept at painting in the style of J. M. W. Turner. She was hired by a London art museum to copy their Turners so that they could loan her copies out to artists who were trying to practice. We find the intersection of the visual arts and theater right here in this trunk. What do we, what do we see here? <laughs> yes. Well, these boots were made by Louisa herself. She writes about them in her journals. She actually sometimes created characters for the boots because she liked wearing them so much. They fit her. And if you look in this sketch that May Alcott did, here you see the boots being worn by Louisa. She's playing the role of Rodrigo. And if you read Little Women, that is the play described that the girls are putting on for Christmas Day. Lots of people read Little Women. Almost instantaneously, the book was a bestseller. But Louisa didn't relish her newfound celebrity. She sometimes would say she was porky piney about it, because people would come right up to this house, right up to the front door, and ask for an autograph. She would sometimes answer the door pretending to be a servant. Yes, yes, she absolutely did. She she would do that. Fame is about to visit this house once again. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sisters. The seventh film adaptation of Little Women, written and directed by Greta Gerwig, opens on Christmas Day. 
Turnquist was a consultant and says the filmmakers wanted to be as authentic as possible. Greta Gerwig took such an interest, kept coming back to the house, brought the cast through the house, and the different production people were through and, and talking about paint colors and measurements and floor plans. Turnquist says the new film captures the essence of the home like no other adaptation has. Of course, nothing compares, she says, to experiencing the all-cut home in person, and often with people who've come from around the world. And when they come in with so much awe, enthusiasm, and really love, they love the book, they liked the values of that family, they liked the idea of caring for your family and helping other people, and then that jived very well with our staff that feel the same way. So it's almost like a little celebration.